It's Elvis Workshop time. How's it going, everybody? I hope you're doing good. Thanks for tuning into the channel. Um, I want to talk about some Viva Las Vegas products today. Uh, not so much the movie. This isn't an Elvis history class. Um, I just want to talk about some of the releases <clears throat> that have been put out. And uh, something special to me in particular uh, that's part of this movie. So... Um, there's all kinds of Viva Las Vegas stuff out there. I don't have, you know, I don't have every little piece of everything, but I've got some pretty cool stuff here. So, um, this book, it's a Joe Tunzi book. It has a lot of the, uh, photo shoot pictures. It has, uh, still shots from the movies, the movies, the movie, and some, uh, behind the scenes photos. It doesn't go super deep. It's a cool book to have. It's got some great quality photos in it. Um, I wouldn't say it's a must-have, but it's pretty cool. I, I like it. Uh, once that one came out, this one is kind of um, not really uh, <laughs> in demand, I guess you could say. Um, the Viva Las Vegas um, Blu-ray that came out a few years ago, awesome, absolutely awesome picture quality. I would hope that you would have this in your collection. Um, the opening scene where Elvis walks into the Flamingo and he has on the black jacket with a red shirt. That red shirt just absolutely pops off the screen. The picture quality is so good. Anyway, amazing picture quality. And it goes nice together with that over there as a box set. Uh, it's a nice companion piece. This piece, this is pretty cool. So there wasn't a, really a Viva Las Vegas soundtrack, like uh, the full album uh, with all the songs, I guess. You could say, I think they did a, an EP or, you know, Anyway, I bought this basically for the cover. I love this shot. This is a really cool, really cool shot. Or cover, not shot. Anyway, I just kind of like that. This here is <clears throat> the Follow That Dream Viva Las Vegas box set. And it just kind of, it's just the, the, the tape box kind of look. I'm not a big fan of this. It, you know, it's cool to see all the notes that they wrote at the time. But they could include these pictures of these tape boxes inside the booklet and have a more creative cover just my opinion i'm just not a fan of it it's not it's not very flashy it doesn't look very good um but this came out and of course it's it, the sound is fantastic um but i want to get to this because this is really cool this is the oh my gosh this thing is heavy the ftd box set of viva las vegas this is a huge very heavy book with a CD set, man, this thing, it's literally, it's a beast, man, it is heavy, um, so there's three CDs in here, how about that, that's pretty sweet, right, open it up, and there's three CDs inside, but what I wanted to really get to is something that's in the movie that I have a personal uh, connection to, at the uh, end of the movie, I've got the pictures, I've got the page marked. I prepared for the video. <clears throat> At the end of the movie, Elvis, in the very final moments of the movie, Elvis and Ann Margaret get married in that church. Okay, they only show the church in the movie for, geez, what is it? I mean, like literally like two seconds or maybe three seconds. I mean, it's... It's quick. Um, and, and pick that up. Pick that box set up. That If you're a fan of the Elvis movies or just an Elvis fan in general, um, that box set is awesome. It's a little expensive. It might be sold out. I'm not sure. I, I pre-ordered it. The sound on it is primo. It's badass. Really good. Um, but let's get back to my point. So the, the final scene is Elvis and Ann Margaret get married at the, what's called the Little Church of the West. So in the movie, there's a, a kind of a montage scene, I guess you could call it, or whatever. It's, it's Elvis and Ann Margaret spending their day together, and they do a bunch of different things, going to helicopter. And anyway, there's a scene where they're doing a gunfight in an old west town. That was at the New Frontier Hotel, which is where Elvis played at the Venus Room in the 50s. And uh, they, bought him, they bought his second week out and told him to basically hit the bricks. Uh, it, it, the show didn't go over that well. Um, excuse me, it was an older audience and they weren't really prepared for Elvis and Elvis wasn't really prepared for them. 
but at the back of the casino or actually kind of on the side kind of on the side there was a there was a little kind of a themed area of an old west town and in there was this church um it's one of if not the oldest freestanding buildings in las vegas i think it's the oldest but uh i'll have to, i'd have to look at that but i'm pretty sure it is anyway that church has been moved a couple times they picked the building up and moved it inst instead of uh demolishing it which is pretty cool sin city las vegas where i live they're not known for keeping history they will blow stuff up uh in a minute to build something new bigger badder and better so some of their best history has been imploded, torn down, and, and rebuilt with a different, uh, different uh, building altogether. Thankfully, this, this little church that was in the, uh, the Old West Town at the uh, New Frontier Hotel uh, didn't get the uh, wrecking ball. So it's been moved, and it's now down on South Las Vegas Boulevard, right a stone's throw from the Welcome to Las Vegas sign. this okay it's right down it's probably if you were to walk it would take you five minutes i mean it's it's right across the street from that um a lot of famous people have actually been married there you know thousands of regular joes uh, have been married there red fox was married there uh, Judy Garland was married there. There, there, there. There's, if you Google the uh, Little Church of the West, you can see there's a long list of all the people that have been married there. Anyway, um, my wife and I were married there. It has nothing to do with the Elvis connection. It was just that, that was the place that we uh, we picked, and it was on October first, uh, 2017, um, when the shooting happened at the Mandalay Bay, and um, we got married a year, uh, two years later, <laughs> at the same on the same date, October 1st. Um, this is a little trinket right here. People come to, you know, when you go to a city, um, you go buy a refrigerator magnet or a postcard or whatever. So this is, this is I found this in an antique store and it, and it's uh, the little church of the West. It's a, it's a little bronze church. The tip is missing. It's broken off. But I've never seen this before. Never seen one. Found it at the swap meet and picked it up. That's the same church. And on eBay, there are postcards, original postcards of the church. Pretty cool, right? Anyway, so uh, we got married in that church, the same church that's uh, featured in the movie. Not featured, but it shows up in the movie briefly at the very end of the movie. So anyway, so I have a little surprise for today's uh, video. Other than my little connection to uh, Viva Las Vegas through the church, little church of the West. I, uh, I, I went to a record store the other day and I found this. It's an import release, if you will. 1978. Unopened. I know this is going to make some of you freak out and that's okay. But I actually listen to my stuff. Um, I'm not going to keep something in plastic uh, for my whole life and then when I die somebody just gets it and they open it and start listening to it or whatever I actually listen to my stuff so this this record is from 1978 has never been opened I've seen it before um, but this this one is sealed and I'm gonna open it here for today's video so let's see here there's a seal right there but I don't want to pull that let's see I don't think there's anything in here except the record. I don't think there's any inserts in here. But we're going to find out, aren't we? 1978. Can you believe I'm opening this thing? Yeah, me too. I can. That's what I do. I always open all my stuff. I listen to everything. While I'm opening this, I want to tell you. So I ran across today an album of the Bill Black Combo, and I played it, and I've, I've heard of the Bill Black Combo, of course, I know exactly all about, you know, Bill Black, and, well, not all about, but I know plenty enough, and um, <clears throat> so I ran across the Bill Black Combo Greatest Hits album today and played it. It is phenomenally good. The sound is crystal clear, and the beat, it's, it's absolutely mesmerizing.
It's right here, actually. Let me show it to you. Pick this up today. Five bucks. Bill, back, Bill Black, greatest hits. The Untouchable Sound. Pick this up. CD, record, whatever you want. Pick that up. That is amazing. Absolutely amazing. So let's see what's in here. I'm just going to guess there's a record, but... Let's see. Nothing else in the sleeve. Nice picture on the back there. The paper's folded over. Guess it got put in the packaging like that. Look at that, it's faded. <laughs> it's been sitting there since 1978. Let's check out the disc. Oof. <sighs> Lucky Records, it says. Nice, clean black vinyl, beautiful. It's been in that case since 1978. Hasn't seen the light of day. So there we have it. Anyway, so that that concludes today's video. Uh, I hope it wasn't too under exciting. <laughs> anyway, just wanted to show you a couple things and then talk about the little Church of the West that they show in the movie for that long at the very end. So I hope you liked the video. Please like, share, and subscribe, and tell your friends, and all that other stuff. And um, let's see. I got to, oof. If you don't like the video, I can't help you. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. <laughs>